Welcome back to my channel. It's Nkechi. So a lot of people have been asking me, what have I been doing to my hair? My hair has been flourishing. I do think it's growing at a slower pace than I would want it to, but I do see it growing. I don't experience a lot of breakage. I'm going to post a picture over here to show you what my um, hair loss is from shampooing my hair. I shampooed my hair a few hours ago and I just kind of let it air dry. So this is where my hair state is with a shampoo and air dry. I haven't conditioned it. I haven't oiled it. I'm going to do that after I'm done with this video to give it a good conditioning, oil my hair and cream it and things like that so that I can possibly rock the same style. But this is just a wash and go, not the typical wash and YouTube go. Um, this is just a wash shampoo my hair really well and let it just air dry so i decided to slap up a little bit of makeup and get this video out to you all because i have been asked about my hair i do see it growing i think it's flourishing i think it's healthy and i wanted to let you know five things that you may not be doing that i have incorporated in my hair regimen or in my hair growth journey to help me with um, various things from healthy hair length retention hair growth, all the above. So if you'd like to know what they are, I need you to stay tuned and just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to talk about is building a hair care regimen. Having a regimen is like having a schedule. You wanna be sure that you're able to create a schedule that is conducive to your daily living. It's so important, it keeps you on track, it keeps you accountable. I love to use the who, what, when, where, why strategy for my hair. So when it comes to who, I'm the individual. So for this instance, it would be you. It could be your family, it could be friends, it could be your neighbor, it could be your mother, your client, you name it. That's who you're building the regiment for. Then you have the what. When you have your what is, what products are you going to be using? Are you using a hot comb? Are you using a certain brand of shampoo? Are you using any type of tools, comb? You wanna make sure what you need is available it's readily available you can reach it at your own time frame you don't want to have to go shopping for things looking for things because it's not going to keep you on schedule for that regiment you have built we talked about the who we talked about the what then you have the when when is when do you plan to do this is it going to be a weekly thing is it going to be a daily thing is it going to be bi-weekly bi-monthly every other month you know quarterly once a year but you really want to put yourself on a great schedule i tend to do certain things bi-weekly and i also tend to do certain things weekly then you have your who what when where for where you want to be sure that where are you going to get this done make sure that you schedule yourself based on that regimen if you're going to the salon to get your hair done make sure that you call your technician and have your schedule ready and they're ready to work on your hair. If it's something you're going to do at home, make sure that you have everything ready to go, there's no disturbance and you stay on track. Now, the last one is why. Why is because we're trying to create a regimen that is going to help us with our length retention, going to keep our hair healthy and going to have us grow our hair. So all of those things is how I usually strategize to make sure that I'm staying focused on my hair. When I tell myself the who, what, when, where, why, and what those entail, that helped me stay focused. So that's the first thing is you wanna make sure that you're building that hair care regimen. The next one is making sure that you have low manipulations on your hair. You don't want to constantly cornrow your hair, you're constantly wigging your hair, you're constantly combing your hair. You just want to make sure that you are not touching your hair as much as possible. I usually put my hair in a protective style. Once in a while, I will wash it, leave it out and go. And so I try my best to make sure that I'm not constantly in my hair. When you take a comb and you're constantly combing your hair, whether it's wet or dry, or you have your conditioner, regardless, you're still, you know, putting some type of tension on your hair. So you want to be very careful. So make sure that you are keeping your hands, keeping all these tools away from your hair as often as possible. The third one is making sure that you always are taking your vitamins, your supplements. I know iron pills, folic acid, vitamin E. Right now, my go-to is vitamin D 
read up on that make sure that you consult your doctor as well this is just what i do i constantly use the vitamin d it's great for hair it's great for hair growth it has helped me a lot read up on it it does support your um teeth it support bone it support immune health it's so many things when it comes to vitamin d this is the brand that i use and I make sure that I'm getting that in every day. The next thing is keeping your hair hydrated. So I make sure that I am shampooing my hair. I know when you shampoo, you're stripping it of different things, but I make sure I shampoo, condition, oil my hair as need be. Keep your hair hydrated. You can't go months and weeks and you know, you're not washing your hair. Make sure you're washing your hair. Watch how you're washing your hair. So when it comes to, you know, the pattern of your washing your hair, I don't really wash my hair using this method. I normally wash it using this method. So I'm kind of going straight down on my hair. Sometimes I will rub on it gently, but I do not use the circular motion because sometimes I notice that my hair gets tangled and I will get a lot of hair pulling out. So um, I have learned ways and methods to make sure that when I'm washing my hair, conditioning, I'm using a really good pattern that will keep it from breaking. I don't have a lot of breakage. The other thing you need to also do is making sure you're getting down your water. I do get a gallon of water down. I got this bottle from um, Amazon. It is a great bottle. It shows you the numbers in here as to what you're consuming. It also gives you the time slot. I don't know if you guys can see that in blue. It gives you the time slot here and um, that's the type of bottle that I got. I use this in my office, I use it in my bedroom. And what I do is I take this if need be and I will separate them out in different bottles but I use them in my office, I use it in my room. I keep one on each level to make sure that I'm getting down a gallon of water a day. Sometimes it's not easy to do that. So if you can't do the eight glasses, reduce it to six glasses, but try your best to get in as much water as you can because it keeps your body hydrated. It's good for your health, it's good for detox, and that can also help your hair grow. So I am gonna put a link down to anything I'm talking about down below but this is great. Make sure you're getting your bottles of water down. It will help you with your hair growth. And you just want to be sure that as you're doing that, you are able to, you know, use the bathroom because you are going to be consuming a lot of water and you want to be sure that you are using the bathroom as need be. Another thing is product overkill. You don't want to be using too much product in your hair. Pick something, use something that you're used to give yourself time to get acclimated to what you're using. Your hair takes time to adjust to things. So you don't want to shock it by introducing so many other products. I know YouTubers out here are showing different things, different products that work for them. Try to find something that works for you. Keep it as natural as possible and test it out within you know, three months, six months before you rotate to another product. You don't want to have too many products in your hair. That's not going to allow your hair to breathe and you want to be sure that you're using that. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Let me know down below what you think. What do you do to make sure your hair stay healthy? What is your hair regimen like? And I will see you guys on the next one.